Welcome back. I'm Cynic Placebo, and I've got a special one for you today. This is Happy Land Christmas Edition. Happy Land Adventures Christmas Edition. This is one I used to play when I was a kid. I, I mean, it came out, I guess I was a teenager. I don't know, maybe kid's not the right word. It's the night before Christmas, and everyone is sleeping. Almost. What? Why? Who is this? Hi, it's Santa. I need your help. Sure, what is all this about? Huh, oh, that was quick. My helpers have all disappeared. You have to help me find them. If someone calls you in the night and says they're Santa, don't believe them off the bat. Otherwise, there will be no Christmas ever. Sure, I'll find them for you. Phew. Thanks, pal. There's still a chance. So this was a game. It was an MS-DOS game, but it was based on... Uh, like a... A tool pack where you could like build your own game basically right and so this came out super late it was like 1999 or maybe even 2000 when this came out and so it was uh even though it was a dos game it felt much newer all right so one thing i'm going to go over real quick if you go to options and you hit set controls this is the awesome thing about dos box which is what i'm playing this in yeah see it came out in 2000 so i think the original came out in 99 but if you hit set controls i'm gonna hit left on my xbox 360 controller right on my xbox 360 controller a for jump uh, slide, I'll do B, sure, talk. Now, not all the buttons work, I don't know exactly why. I can't do X or Y. Uh, let's try, can't do the triggers, but I'll do, we'll do up for talk, okay. And then I have to, I can't navigate the menu with it, but I can play with it. So now I'm using an Xbox 360 controller to play an MS-DOS game, which is awesome. All right. So in this game, you just you collect all this stuff. It's a basic collect-a-thon, right? It, it's crazy to play this. I, I mean, with the controller, it feels almost new. It's weird. Uh, it's good though. I like it. All right. So you do your basic collect-a-thon stuff, right? And this first level is just to teach you about stuff. Oh, I should have talked to that guy. Whoops. Whoops. But he just tells you some basic stuff like you know, collect all the goodies. I'm not going to collect everything exhaustively. There are secrets on these levels where you can kind of like break through the walls and find stuff. Or sometimes, you you know, you get a glimpse of something. Like I saw a tree to the left that looked like I might be able to stand on it, right? And then here you go. There's like an arrow pointed down. So if you go over like that, you can land on that tree and it'll guide you to more goodies, right? So there's all sorts of... Uh, secrets on these maps that you can find to get more points. If you get enough points, you get an extra life. Oh! Which I might need since I died already. Let's see, can I restart? Nope. Alright, well, let's just talk to him. Hopefully I'll get an extra life. Ho, young adventurer! Santa lives in the far north. Follow the arrows and you will get there. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, you just have to hit the talk to him again button to make the dialogue go away. All right, well, I really need an extra life now. Unfortunately, the spikes kill you straight out. I forget to talk to these guys. Hearts will give you more energy. You will need hearts if you bump into enemies. So like this guy, you can't jump on him like in Mario. If you try to, it'll hurt you. And then you can go and, you know, grab a spare heart. All right. Oh, again, I forget to talk to him. Let's talk to these. Watch out for spikes, they'll kill you instantly. Yeah, I wish you'd told me that sooner, you guy. I got got with him. All right. I'm only doing the basic collecting here because I want to get an extra life since I already lost one, like an idiot. Is there a secret area in here? Sometimes if you just kind of jump into the walls, you can find secrets, right? Alright. But let's not worry about it for now. Let's just keep going. Again, it's been years since I've played this game. And I didn't realize I was going to be able to play with the controller, which is awesome. It really does make this game feel crisp and new. I like it a lot. Alright. Ooh, there was a guy hiding behind there. I missed him. Now, this is like the tutorial level, so there's nothing to do other than just collect goodies. Whereas normally, you have to find the happy landers and get them to follow you. Hey, I got that extra life. Alright, well that's good. For some reason, it always slows down when it does dialogue. Now, so here's one of those secrets I was talking about, right? I'm jumping and you can see that I'm getting, um, I was getting some sort of points as I was jumping in there. Alright, let me, oh, and you can also slide, so if, oh, maybe you can't slide on this, maybe you can only slide on ice. That must happen later, okay. 
All right, let's just keep going. Oh, let's talk to him. From here, all will be cold and frozen. Do your best. Santa and Christmas needs you. All right. We made it past level one. Level complete. So it's just a, you know, a basic little platformer. But it's done well and it's enjoyable. I like it. That is the exit up there. If you bring enough happy landers to the safety zone, it will open for you. So these arrows always point towards the exit, which is right up here, which is a little weird. It seems like it should point up. <laughs> and then happy landers are just these weird little creepy dudes. And they'll follow you. Uh, but you can only have so many of them follow you at, at one time. I can't remember. So if you're ever close to the zone, you should deposit them as in, in the zone like that, right? As you say, these blue squares mark the safety zone. Leave the happy landers here. Okay. All right. Looks like we can't go up that way. So let's wait for this snail here. We'll jump over him. There we go. Any secrets? I'm jumping to the walls. Not because I'm an idiot, because I'm looking for secrets. I know. It looks like I just don't know how to work the controls, but... All right. I wish the music was more consistent. Like, this music's so much quieter. Let me see if I can turn it up here real quick. Oop. <laughs> That's not what I want. I want to just switch to OBS. There. Let me crank the music up a little bit. Because the music's quite pleasant, but you just can't hear it with how quiet this level is for some reason. Well, that's a little higher. This this one's just a quiet one. I don't know why. Whoops, I fell. All right. That's what I get for worrying about music instead of trying to actually play the game. I guess I could turn it up in my headphones so it's louder for me. It's not any louder for you when I do that, but... <laughs> Happy Landers. This is, you know, some very basic 2000 joy. So in 2000, I was in high school. I know I'm old. And I don't want to try to jump over him under there. I want to wait for him. And so, yeah, I mean, this game, it was... I wouldn't say it was popular, but it was w wide enough spread that most kids my age had at least heard of it or seen it. And yeah, it was just one of those little freeware, shareware things that we would all play, you know during our break periods in the computers in the library. Because, you know, any game's a good game, especially if you can get away with playing it. But then the librarian, she'd come by and she'd freeze your computer. She had a button she could do to freeze your computer and she'd go mad because you weren't supposed to play games in the library. Mighty Mountain 2. To complete the level, you must find Santa's helpers and guide them to safety. Just touch them to make them follow you. All right. I like that they decorated the tree with uh, cherries, right? Oh, there's a little platform here. Sometimes there's secrets like that that you won't know until you just jump into the sky. It's kind of like uh, Commander Keen if you ever played Commander Keen. Oh, and those blue orbs there. If you find, like, five of those or something, you get a uh, password so that you don't have to play all the levels again. You can just jump straight to them. Oh, those bugs I almost didn't see. I almost landed on them. All right, I got two happy landers with me. All right, the song on this level is a, a fair bit louder, which is nice, but it just means it's highly inconsistent, which isn't great. All right. All right. Oh, no, I'm running out of carry capacity. Here's another one, but I left one up there. This is the place where you can leave the Happy Landers. They are safe here. Okay, so there's that guy up there I didn't get. If you find, if you fins five magic blue spheres, you will get a password. <laughs> I don't know what language this was made in by default, but yeah, this is the exit. If you rescue enough happy landers, it will open. <laughs> I assume that's not intentional. I assume that that's, you know, just language problems, but you know, I don't know. Maybe not. All right, let's go back and see if we can get that last guy that we left back there. And again, I'm not exhaustively getting everything, so I'm not going to hunt for the remaining two blue spheres. I'm just going to leave them be. But if I see a way to get them, I'll get them, right? I just don't know how to get up there. Oh, I need two more, huh? Where would two more be? Oh, there's some. I don't think I can jump over that way. I think we're going to... Oh, I'll have to go this way again. Well, that's what I get for blindly jumping down. I didn't see that guy. Now I have no hearts left. Maybe I'll find one. All right. I still got two lives. We're doing all right. 
We're good. There's gotta be a way to get up there, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it would be. Alright. Don't want to land on anybody, but let's go this way. Level complete. And then you could get, you know, high points and brag about it to your friends or share passwords with levels that were way later. Alright. If you press the slide key while having a high speed, you can knock enemies over. Try on this slope. Okay. So I set that to B. Nice. That looks like a secret. Yeah, anytime you see stuff hiding out in the walls, a lot of times there's secrets there. But sometimes if there's not, there's still secrets and there's still points there. Ooh, there's so many sprites on the screen that it's like slowed down. I better collect some of these. <laughs> and then that timer, I don't know if you die if the timer runs out or what, but that timer gives you additional time on the level. Okay, yeah, this is really chunking with all the, uh, with all the sprites. I wonder if that's just a DOS box thing, because I don't remember that being a thing, but it's also been a long time since I played this game. <laughs> Alright, we'll collect these guys. There's gotta be some way to get up there. Can't like slide into it, can I? No. Alright, just trying out different things in case there's a way to get it up there. Okay. I mean, there's got to be something there. Hmm, no, not that I found anyway. Okay. Got another happy lander. Alright. We'll slide on back down. Hurry and deliver these happy landers. Oh! Ah, forgot about that guy. It was partly because it was chunking, right? It was going slower. And so, I don't know, I just got used to it going that one speed, right? And they do, while the Happy Landers stay where you put them, it does give you all the treats back, which isn't great for the chunking, but it is good for getting extra lives and time. All right. Let's see if I can do this without dying. You'd think I'd never played this game before. <laughs> Again, it has been decades. All right. Oh, that's harder when they're offset like that. Okay. Oh, there was a secret area. There we go. Got to be a little cautious since I don't have a heart. I guess I could go back down this way. As long as I don't hit one of those uh, snail dudes. All right, so there's only five happy landers... Oh, there's only three left. Okay, so I can carry all the remaining Happy Landers all at the same time. Eh, it's probably not worth getting those cherries. Okay. We've got to find three more Happy Landers. Which means I don't need to deposit anybody because I can carry them all at once. Oh, there's one. There's another one. Okay. Oh, and there's the last one. Let's grab the time while we're here. Okay. So the last guy was just down there, it looked like. Probably, uh. Nope, not a hole there. I thought there was a hole in the wall there. Wait, I got four happy landers, so I have an extra happy lander? That's what it looks like. Weird. Apparently, there was an extra one on this level. Uh, I'm trying to remember where the level exit was. It was off to the right, but I think it was up here to the right, wasn't it? Can't quite remember. But we'll get these while we're at it. Oh, so maybe some of the orbs only show up after you've gotten all the happy landers. Maybe not. There we go. There's a secret in that wall. And then a lot of times, don't give up because you can find more secrets, right? Like this. I'm trying to jump to see if there's a spot to get up there to that guy. But I'm not seeing it so far. But maybe if I jump up here. There we go. Sometimes they put little dead ends in there just to make you, like think you found it when you haven't yet. No, I'm not finding it. Okay. Well, there might not be one there. Alright, where was that level exit? It wasn't over here, right? No, but grab these while we're at it. Ooh, we got three of the spheres, but... Alright. 
Well, I bet that's a secret area there, no? Well, that's fine. Doesn't matter. I should just move on. We got all the happy landers. So let's find that level exit. Oh wait, the level exit was back... Oh, dang, at the beginning, wasn't it? I can't remember. I should look for some of those marker stones, huh? Alright. So it points down. Okay. Oh, I forget. I should slide to get through here. There we go. Level exit pointed that way. Oh, goodness gracious. Alright. Where is this level exit? I can't remember. Oh, man. And now I wasted a life. Goodness gracious. Where is this exit? Okay. Get a few of these while we're at it just to make things chunk less and to have more of a chance of getting an extra life. This is the problem with some of these older games, is that you lose track of where things are. The level design isn't always intuitive, but that was part of the charm of it too, right? You had to really hunt to find your way through, and you had to, you know, search for all the secrets to figure out where things went. Alright, I'm pretty sure that that just dead ends on the right. Yeah, it does. So, that means the level exit has to be up this way somewhere. Sometimes it's hard to find the, the little secret passageway, even when you know where it is. It doesn't quite... you don't hit it in, at the right time. Alright. Oh, and you lose all your blue spheres each time you die. Guess that shouldn't be a surprise, but... Oof, all the sprites! I can't handle it! <laughs> okay, we got those. Ah, so this one wasn't meant to be entered from where I did last time. It was meant to be entered from the top. And again, if you get extra lives, right, that's just a way to guarantee you're less likely to lose and more likely to get to one of those passwords you can find. Alright, where's the exit? I've been looking for the exit a mighty long time. It's still chunking. Yeah, I can't remember it chunking back in the day. I think this is a DOS box problem, but, you know, I don't know. Hard to say. All right, let's go up and over here. Oh yeah, this is where the exit was, that's right. Goodness gracious, that took me a long time to find. That's right, I say goodness gracious like Shirley Temple. <laughs> All right. Yeah, even the counting was slow. That was weird that it's chunking so much. Mighty Mountain 4. Yeah, it's still chunking a bit. There it goes. Sped up for a second there. Weird. Oh, they do have an up arrow for the exit, okay. Oh, Mommy kissing Santa Claus in Midi. The Happy Landers have hid them high up in the trees. You must find them. Oh, there was one just right behind that snowman. Which, again, you can't see him. You just have to have exhaustively gone everywhere on the map is what they're teaching you, right? You just have to go places and hope you find them all. Like that. That platform up there might be something, but... Oh, this is going to be hard. It could be that there's like an invisible platform up in the sky. That's sometimes what happens. Alright, well. What's this guy say? Do not forget that you can knock enemies down by sliding. Okay. Alright. Because that's the only way to get through there. Alright. Well, where would I go to get up it to those trees? Can I make that jump? Ooh, barely. Yeah, it's chunking a little bit, which I don't love, because then it means it runs inconsistently. I'm, again, I think that's a DOS box issue, but... If I was playing this on original hardware, I think it would be fine, because it seems like this game always ran fine. Alright, what's up here? Whoa, there, it sped up for just a second. Oh! Ah, that's right. I have forgotten about those shoes. So you can get these shoes that make you able to jump high. So now I can jump, like, extra high. So now I might be able to, like, get into that secret area by jumping into there. Yeah. 
Nice. All right, we're not gonna get all of that because I don't, well, he moved, why not? We'll get it. All right, in and out. I don't want to accidentally jump down on spikes, so I gotta pay attention because if I just jump willy-nilly, this could end poorly. Can I make it to that next jump up there? It looks like I can, right? There we go. Nice. Now I got the mad hops. Ooh, and a blue sphere. And there was something down below here. Oh. Not the way I went. Okay. Well, let's just deliver these two guys so that we don't end up being too full. All right. Get through there. Ooh, it's chunking something fierce. Let's see if we can find a hole in there. No, nothing, huh? But there's a happy lander up there, so that is a required area. Let's see if I can just get up there this way. There we go. Ugh. Yeah, I don't love the slowdowns. That's always a little irritating when it does that, but, you know, so be it. Oh, I probably should have delivered him, but... Well, we're still close. Let's do it. I'll wait till these guys turn around so they're in a more convenient place to make them fall over. There we go. Deliver that a one. I guess... Can I get out on this side? Because there was ones I left at the beginning. No, I guess I have to jump over the spikes. Alright, don't be by that little snowball because I can't do anything when you're there. You have to get enough speed to knock them down. Oh, you can walk through those snowballs. I didn't think you could. Alright, well that makes it a little easier. Okay, there's that guy. What else? Did we leave some over here? I think we did. Because, yeah, we couldn't get up to these high-level things yet. Nice. So far, so good. Man, these hops are crazy. All right, well, I can't tell where else to go just yet. So let's, uh, let's maybe deliver these ones. Four more, huh? All right, there's four more somewhere. I mean, they've gotta be up in the trees. All right, where would we find four more happy landers? I just want to check over here to make sure I didn't miss something. Because there are all those goodies down there that I probably could get somehow. Which means there could be a happy lander hiding around in the same entrance place that I missed. It doesn't look like there's anything else up here, right? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything I could jump to. Ooh, that was almost bad. All right, well, I think that's it, but let's try to go up this way again. Make sure we're not missing anything. All right. So far, so good. Four left. Dang, that's a lot that I've not seen. Oh, there's one way up there. How on earth do I get that high? Hurry, I'm trying to hurry. Oh, no, I can't make the jump. Come on, get up there. Okay, so this is how you get up here. And then you can work your way across to those two. Oh, there's the remaining ones. I've got them. No, I've only got ten seconds. No, I've got them all though. Look. I have all the happy landers. Three, two, one, no! Oh, I had them. All right, so if you want a silly little Christmas platformer, try Happy Land, Happy Land Adventures Christmas Edition because this provided lots of joy to all of us in the 2000s, and it works really well. The fact especially that DOSBox lets you just connect up a game controller to set the controls is awesome. So I'm a big fan of this, and I think you might enjoy it too. All right, catch you in the next one. Merry Christmas.